While Facebook tried to fend off controversy around fake news on its platform, you may have missed the best live action movie yet, a drone that can do it all and how people can generate electricity. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where feeling like this kid struggling to take out the trash may seem bad, but at least you're not the stranded New Zealand earthquake cows. That's utterly sad. See, it's not so bad, we still have bad jokes. If you're thinking Sin City is still reliably cesspool, you should know even Las Vegas is stepping to the renewable energy beat. NGO Planet is testing its new LED streetlights that use both kinetic pads in the ground and photovoltaic panels that harness the sun. The pads can generate four to eight watts per footstep, probably depending on whether the person in question is an upstairs neighbor or not. They're artists. It just sounds like bowling balls. That can't be what it is, but that's what it sounds like. It sounds like bowling balls. Anyways, all those sunny days means the system can also run security cameras, portable charging stations, and power Wi-Fi hotspots. It's at Boulder Plaza, so check it out before it expands even further so you can say you were there first. Flying drones can go just about anywhere, assuming they can reach their destination in the 20 minutes before their batteries die. Driving drones can travel much farther, but they're stuck on the ground. But what if there was a drone that does both? Hey, you got your chocolate and my peanut you got butter. Peanut butter and my chocolate. The Panther inspection drone from Advanced Tactics is the peanut butter cup of remotely operated vehicles you've been waiting for. It can drive for up to 60 miles using its six propellers to hop over small obstacles, or it can even lift off entirely while carrying 15 pounds of equipment. The flying truck could be useful in everything from pipeline inspections to disaster relief. Now, if only advanced tactics could scale this tech up and carry people, we could have flying ambulances. Oh wait, they already did. And finally, those of us who once got a thrill from this music, are still spazzing out over the live action trailer for Beauty and the Beast coming to movie theaters in March of next year. I mean, if you're gonna do a remake, this one looks all right. Lumiere and Mrs. Potts need some CGI work, but whatever, we're stoked. 